up as in in today's video I'm going to be doing a kind of a dream palette per se. Uh, this is not my own original idea. got this from X Sparkage. Uh, she has a new channel name. I'll put it on the screen here as well as Linker up in the iCards up here. Ignore the makeup I have on today. This is just what I've been wearing all day long so it's kind of been worn down over 11 hours and if I'm wearing this sweatshirt or any other hoodie in every video for the next like few weeks it's purely because it's like negative 14 degrees outside air temp 9 chilled so that's where we're coming from with that sorry so in today's video I am as it I would suggest doing kind of a dream palette I guess you've probably been seeing it being waved around what the cut palette is going to end up looking like because it's on the back of my head right now of what I would envision a Dragon Age palette looking like if they were to say come out with a five pan eyeshadow palette I just really like this idea and I thought it would be kind of fun and I will do a little mini tutorial of the palette of how I would maybe do a look using the shadows because they're not particularly normal ones but I thought these kind of all represented like the main areas of Dragon Age. So that's kind of where I wanted to come from. So this is covering the entire span like Dragon Age Origin to Dragon Age Inquisition. And kind of everything that comes in between. So that is kind of where I'm coming from. So the very first shade in the palette. And these are all just using sh shadows I already have in my collection. Is a gray tone. This one in particular here, mine kind of broke earlier, um, that I'm calling Grey Warden. And this is actually Smoke and Mirrors from NYX, Hot Single Shadows. Mine's broken and I fixed it, but that is the very first shade, is Grey Warden, because they are very prominent throughout the entire series. They carry a lot of weight in Dragon Age, so I want to make sure that they were included. And... I wanted this very nice sparkly tone for them. Uh, the next one that we have in the palette is this shade right here. And this one I am calling the Herald's Mark. And it is another NYX Hot Single Shadow. This one is the shade Moneymaker. It's kind of a lime green. And in Inquisition, the Herald of Andraste or the Inquisitor has a mark across their entire hand also known as the anchor and it glows green whenever they are sealing rifts in the fade so that is what this shade is next up uh, we have the shade I'm calling Chantry Red or just the Chantry and this is actually another NYX hot single shadow and this is Wild Orchid um, red is very prevalent throughout a lot of things in Dragon Age, from the blood tone, to the logo, to the loading screens. Red is just pretty much on everything, and the Chantry is commonly the one that's got this boring red shade. Next, we have a blue, which I'm calling the Fade. Because in Dragon Age, whenever you go on the Fade, everything's kind of got like a blue tone to it. Uh, stepping through the fade, it's got blues and just a lot of like um, lyrium's also blue, which is very tied to the fade and those any magic. Um, this actually in real life is Claw Pop two piece single shadow. Then lastly in the palette, and then I'll flash the full swatches, is the Arch Demon, <laughs> which is actually the shade right here which is Claire Pop's Roundhouse. And I wanted a deepening shade in the palette, but also, like, that is pretty much all the colors of all the dragons. They're very deep and dark, almost black, but not quite. So this is what the palette all looks like together. So now I'm gonna take off the current makeup I have on and do a look using my reimagined version, or my imagined version of what a Dragon Age palette would look like. Alright, I have zoomed you guys in closer so that way you can see what I am doing on my face. So, I'm going to start off with this kind of fluffy brush and the shade Archdemon, which is the shade right here. I'm going to apply that in my outer corner. 
So I was re I really like the idea of this because then I've been trying to figure out how to do more videos without having to buy like more products. So I wanted to have a really low buy year. And I couldn't think of how to do like unique videos, that kind of stuff that I would be actually enjoying that I think people would find interesting. Besides just, I'm doing a look with Korean eyeshadow today. That kind of thing. But this lets me be cover two pairs of sunstone. I do a makeup look for you guys. And every single time it's different in the sense that I gotta do, it seems like I'm using like a new palette or something. But really I'm just using shadows that I already have. And then like I know what I'm doing. I don't know why. That's just the kind of my thought right now. Let me guys know if you want more of these. Again, this is not my original idea like for the series like overall. This is from, um, X Barkage Leisha, I think. Um, next I'm going to take Fade, which is this one. And I'm going to take that on a flat brush. I'm just going to apply that kind of right here. So yeah, trying to do a low buy slash no buy this year. Which is kind of difficult. And half it's just because like I run out of ideas and I'm like, oh, I gotta go buy something so I have like an idea. But if I do like this type of a thing, then I have ideas. I just gotta find a new video game and ta-da! We have a new video and I feel like I'm saying interesting. I don't know. That's kind of my own vision of like what video games would be. So like even someone else did this like challenge or concept. Everyone kind of come up with different shadows to use for video games and different names or things that they relate those shadows to. Which is why I kind of wanted to do it. Alright. So that's where we're sitting right now. I go back in with that first brush and a little bit more Arch Demon and kind of mix that in a little bit more with Fade just so it's not so contrast. Somewhere like that. Alright. Now we got that going. I'm thinking we start going with Grey Warden, which is our silver tone in the palette. I'm using these all dry, by the way. I have not with my brush. I'm just going to apply that here. And also, the reason I'm doing this look in particular right now is the Grey Warden's actually wear um, silver and blue a lot in their outfits, at least the ones that are from um, the free marches and also the ones in Orlay. The ones in Pharrell didn't, didn't really like wear a specific color. They kind of just wore whatever they had available to them. Just taking some more fade and blending that in with Great Warden. Which is why I kind of really like the idea of this color palette, because then I can make like a Grey Warden look. And it has a shade Grey Warden in it. Okay. So that is where we're currently sitting. I am... I'm not going to do the rest of my face makeup today. I'm just not in the mood for it. So, excuse me about skipping that. Um, before I go to the inner corner, I'm going to take the shade Chantry and put that underneath my lower lash line with um, this kind of a brush. I'll try staying on camera for you guys. 
the Chantry does not control Grey Wardens. The Grey Wardens are kind of on their own. And they can kind of get away with a lot more, in a sense, than, like, because they can have mages, and the mages don't have to be, like, they don't have to have the, what's it called? The filigree? I'll put the, name, put the name up on the screen. They don't have to have one of those, which, like, tracks where they are. I mean, they might, but it's never, like, explicitly mentioned, and the Chantry doesn't, like, force those mages into the circle. Because they're, like, they have their own, like, rite of passage. And a lot of time the Chantry, like, they, like, help out with the Grey Wardens, but, like, for the most part, they don't do much about them. They're very on their own in that sense. Alright. So next, I'm going to take the Herald's Mark. We're going to take Herald's Mark, and we're going to put that in the inner corner. I have not used that shade in ages. I can't remember if I needed that one. Where that one actually does. Okay. Not that any of us are going to use this palette because it doesn't exist but I'm using it and pretending like it exists so Harold's mark needs to be with to the inner corner with you Harold's mark there we go we are going to slightly mix that in with Chantry because the Chantry hates the Herald of Andraste. They call it blasphemy. And the Grey Wardens caused the Herald of Andraste to gain her, gain the mark when working with Curfius. So, it all comes together. Alright, I'm going to go finish up this look with some liner and lashes. We'll be right back. And there's the finish look, which is basically just add on lashes um, and a little eyeliner. But yeah, there's the finish look using the Dragon Age palette. And here is what I would imagine the cover art being, as well as the shadows in the palette. So you can see kind of my idea of what the palette overall looks like. If you guys want to see more of these in the future, well, let me know in the comments. Um, I'm probably going to do a few more of these just because I find it interesting and fun, as I was talking about beforehand. And, yeah. What would you guys have put in the Dragon Age Dream Palette if you guys were to see a collab come out with that? This is my rendition. And I know everyone else probably has their own version of what, like, certain elements from the game they would put in a palette. So, I'd love to hear what you guys think. Down in the comments, give this video a big old pause up, subscribe to the Howl Pack, and I'll see us all in the next video, which may or not be another one of these, or it might be something different, I don't know. But yeah, I'll see you guys all then. Bye!